Welcome to the COFAC Roaring Twenties podcast series. Today, we'll hear from Ruben Del Valle Jr., assistant professor in the Department of Theater Arts. So in terms of the Roaring Twenties, the one word that comes to mind is resilience and how that connects to what we are experiencing today. In the 20s, there was a war, the flu, a brief recession, and what happened next was technological progress, artistic progress, economic growth. Uh, They went from a recession to an overflow of success, and they used that progress to help that economic growth. In theater today, we found COVID to be a huge recession for theater, specifically. Broadway is closed. A lot of small theaters have had to close. A lot of Broadway hits that we believed would have been around for years because of the financial impact have had to close. And in theater departments, Towson and across the country have had to re-examine how they are going to do their work and be innovative and find new ways. And specifically in the theater department, we are using that technological progress. We are stepping away from just doing something on the stage with an audience to using the small screen, to using film, to to reach more people and to do our work. It's new territory for us, uh, which is was new territory back in the 20s. And it's scary and exciting, and it's something that our students are really leaning into and really excited about. Uh, So we are also excited. When we were talking about what our spring 2021 season would look like after the portion of our season in the fall was canceled, we asked two questions. Can we do something and should we do something? And after those questions were answered with yes, Uh, we were tasked with finding what those things could be. Uh, A musical was something we wanted to keep in our docket, so I was tasked with researching what kind of musical we could produce with some criteria, of course, keeping with COVID guidelines, something that would keep us all interested, and something that our students can relate to. And in that, I moved to reviews and song cycles, so moving away from wanting to do a book musical that allowed for those things to to happen. Uh, And Fugitive Songs was the project that was chosen. It's a song cycle. We can do it safely. The characters are the same ages of our students, and they're talking about things that are issues and experiences that they're having in their daily life. They can connect to them, which is another connection back to what was happening in theater in the 20s. I mean, shows like Showboat, that was a new type of musical, a book musical. It was one of the first times that audiences were seeing their society, their lives play out on stage. So just as in the 20s, theater found a new voice, especially with the Harlem Renaissance and the new voices that came out of that era, the theater department is following suit. We are producing a new works festival It's eight short plays written by students and commissioned artists, directed by students and acted by students in the theater department. And it's allowing our students to let their voices be heard, to put voice to their feelings of their own experience, about their own experience. And I think it's very important, and I think the theater department is allowing the students to give a voice to their own experience. And I think that the theater department is approaching and fulfilling the needs of our students in this very trying time. And also, when I was thinking about my own production of Fugitive Songs, Roaring Twenty-somethings was something that stirred in me also, because that's exactly what Fugitive Songs is. It's a concept of a musical about Twenty-somethings looking for the newness of their life reaching out, trying to find their purpose, trying to find their boyfriend, trying to find adventure. They're declaring that that's what they want. So that's another way that we're connecting to the term Roaring Twenties. Even in the musical, there's a song called Town Goes Boom, 
which directly relates to what was happening for them in the 20s, where there is this booming economy and this actor is speaking about what happens, the opportunities that we're all afforded when we lock in and take control of those advances and, and that progress. So I think that the work that we're doing, not only on stage, but in the classroom in trying to find new ways of teaching theater, directly connects to the new ways of, of, of reaching and the new ways of doing that was going on in the 20s. And I believe that the theater department has been very resilient in finding new ways of approaching our work, of allowing new voices to be heard, new ways to show our work, making sure we pay attention to what's happening in society, what's happening in the political arena, and the needs of our students and of the faculty, and using those voices to create art that is fresh and exciting and uh, reaches all. We're looking towards what a future can be and, and hoping that one day we would be able to get back on the stage with an audience, but not allowing the difficulty of the moment to stop us from doing good work. One quote that I found in, in my extra research of the 20s is by Josephine Baker. Uh, and she said, you're on the eve of a complete victory. You can't go wrong. The world is behind you. And I just take that as all ideas are valid. All ideas and new ideas are necessary. All innovations, we need to throw them all into the arena and do the work. And as long as we can support each other, not only in the theater department, but all of COFAC and the entire university, I think we're in a good place and we can do nothing but excel and succeed. Mm -hmm.